Hi, and welcome to my kitchen, is what I normally say to you, but this is actually my cake room. And I pre-recorded a video of me making shortbread, and so I want to kind of walk you through that in today's video. I did a poll on Facebook and asked you all what you wanted to see. Would you rather see biscotti or shortbread? It was a resounding shortbread. I think I had one vote for biscotti. So, as much as I love biscotti, I made the shortbread. I'll have the recipe at the end of the video. So let's walk through this and I promise you it is so super easy. So I'm starting out with three sticks of unsalted butter. I've softened it. I've got it on the lowest setting in my mixer. And in this bowl of dry ingredients you see me adding is a half a cup of confectioner sugar, a half a cup of granulated sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. And I just add that all at once. The mixer's on low so it's not gonna fly back out at me. And I'm gonna mix that until it turns a little bit paler in color. Not super fluffy, but you don't want it to be runny either by any amount of the imagination. You want those sugars to blend into your butter. So you're going to mix that at a probably medium-low setting for just a couple of minutes before you fold in your dry ingredients. And always remember to scrape down your bowl. So here, after it's been mixed for a couple of minutes, I am making sure to scrape down my bowl to really get under the paddle attachment and on the paddle attachment to make sure there are no chunks of butter left in the bottom. Once it's all blended well, you are going to mix by hand into your sugar butter mixture three cups of all-purpose flour. And I apologize that is not in the video. I don't know what happened with my video feed. But this is what they're going to look like after they come out of the oven. They're going to be barely tan on the edges, but still fairly soft in the middle. So when you go to dip them in chocolate, they're nice and sturdy and buttery. So I hope that video was super helpful, and I hope that you can make this time and time again. Now you can make these decorative. I choose not to most of the time unless a customer special requests that. I either just keep them plain or I dip them in chocolate or do a drizzle of chocolate on top. That's how I prefer them. You can also bake those in sheet pans. Um, just press it really thinly down to the bottom of your sheet pan or cookie pan. As long as there's a small lip on it, just press it down really even and then just pre-score it before you bake it and then finish cutting it through when it comes out like in little cracker shapes, like little rectangles. That's totally doable and those are perfect for dipping in your coffee. Um, so I hope that this recipe really helped you out and gave you another recipe that you can use time and again, especially on the holidays when you have a lot of people coming. Um, and you could also make this in smaller batches if this is too much you know, for you. But I also wanted to bring up on here, if you like these videos, if you need more help, I want to help you as far as the baking, the decorating, the business side of owning and starting your own bakery cake business. Um, I know most states do offer the ability for you to bake and or decorate cakes, baked items in your home. I actually do that now, but I've also owned a storefront. I've also worked for someone else as a cake decorator and baker and ran their shop. So I am actually here to help you. If there's any questions that I can answer, if you need help with pricing, on your products if you need help perfecting a certain recipe if you need help marketing like figuring out what the best way is to market I usually use word of mouth I'm a big believer in word of mouth from satisfied customers it goes a long way on a local basis if you are obviously selling cakes and cookies and baked goods that's gonna be local and I really feel like having those good customer reviews that are willing to tell other people about you is the best way to market to your local environment to your community so with all that being said there's a ton more that goes into it, whether you're from home or in a storefront, and I would love to talk to you more about that. Um, I'm in the process of setting up different coaching styles, um, like Zoom calls, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one with me and we will hash out whatever issues you're having, whether it be one main issue and you just need one phone call where you just brainstorm together and break it all down, or if you are new and you need help with lots of different things along the way and getting started, we can set up a longer process, and I would love to talk to you more about that. My goal is to really help women in this industry be what they want to be, whether that be a small town bakery where they just really satisfy their, their community um, or whether they take it on a bigger scale and want to do videos on YouTube like this or be like the elite baker in their hometown as far as being the best of the best. Whatever your vision is for your business, I would like to be there to help you and to help you brainstorm and figure out all those little details. If you are interested in something like that, you can always email me, contact me through my website, and all those links will be 
also at the end of the video. You can also just comment on this actual video. Send me your email address. I'll contact you and we'll set up a time to chat and hash out all those details. I am so looking forward to this. I also have a Patreon account where you get unedited little videos, like shorter videos, uh, different hacks for baking and decorating. You also get some, maybe some blooper reels along the way and even some extra recipes. So if you're interested in that, please also comment, email me, get to the website and contact me through there, whatever works for you. My Facebook page, my Instagram page, and my website, The Sweet Shop by Beth, just like it's spelled on my YouTube page, you should be able to find me. If not, comment here, I'll find you. But thanks so much for watching and I look forward to working with you more.